and so this is the cut the tree question so we are given a list of the data which is the number that is in the nodes and we are also given a list of the edges so the pair represents the nodes between which there is an edge so now we need to find that after removing which edge the difference between the two sub trees uh, is the minimum so for this first we can create a hash map so the children means that the neighbors so in this case the children of 1 are 2 and 3 so we can iterate through the edges and then get the number for the nodes and then we can first initialize them with an empty array list and then we can add the nodes to the corresponding kind of children array for both of them so this sums array represents the sum of the subtree that the that starts with this root node so for example if we have the node 3 then the sum of the values in this subtree would be 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is 12 and so this visited array will be used for the depth first search so we'll start with the node number 1 because this graph is connected so that means if we start from 1 then we'll eventually always visit each of the nodes so this depth for search is actually not recursive but rather it uses a stack implementation because the recursive solution uh, has a stack overflow so we first push the current node which is which will be one and then while the stack is not empty we will first get the node that is at the top then set the visited to true and now we will now we visit each of the children and if it's not already visited, then we push it onto the stack and then we break out of the loop. So that means it will always first explore the first the first neighbor that's not that has not been visited, which will make it a depth first search. So once all of the children are visited, then that means done will be true. And then we can calculate the sum for that subtree so which will be at the index curl minus one because the node start at one so we, we just have to add the sums for all of its neighbors and then once you're done with that then we can remove that number and then it can explore all the other nodes so for example if we start at one then it would first do two and then six so 6 would just be 6, then 2 would be 8. And then for 1, it would see that 3 has not been visited. So it will first visit that. And that's how it would build the sums array. So once this is done, now we can set the initial minimum difference to the max integer max value. And then we can iterate through all of the other nodes. And now we can assume that if it's if the incoming edge to each of these nodes is the edge that is being removed, then what will be the sums of the other two well of the other two subtrees? So for example, if we have two here and the incoming edge is this one, if we remove this, then the two subtrees are like this two six and then one three four five. So in this case the sum of this is eight, and then the sum of this is thirteen, so the difference is five. And so we do this for all of the different nodes and that will give us the minimum difference. So if we submit the code, so as you can see, it passes all the tests. But if we did this with the recursive implementation, it would cause a stack overflow. So this is how you can solve cut the tree.